Well, here we are. Our backs are against the wall. Season is basically on the line. As the Philadelphia Eagles travel to London to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm still speechless from Sunday. It's been a really rough week for me because just that's just the last thing that sticks in my mind. And even the Sixers, I watched I've been watching the Sixers uh, pretty much every game this season hoping the Sixers can just, you know, show me a little something to kind of ease the depression from Sunday's game. And that hasn't worked, losing back-to-back -back games on the road against the Pistons and the Bucks last night. So it's been tough, man. It's It's been tough. I Normally, by this time of the week, I'm past the loss, but the only thing that's going to get that out of my mind, get that to leave me alone, give me a little peace of mind, is that the Philadelphia Eagles go to London and handle their business. It's like in the movie, any given Sunday, you know, coach is in the locker room, he says, all right, guys, this is the biggest battle of our professional lives. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. And we can stay here and get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into light. We can climb out of hell and turn this season around. The Philadelphia Eagles are fully capable of doing that. They do need to make a move uh, by, the tread by the trade deadline. They should probably make a move. I don't know if we're going to get Patrick Peterson, Deshaun Jackson, Shady McCoy, Le'Veon Bell, or somebody else that we don't, we're not even thinking of right now. I think if we win, we're going to go all out. If we lose, who knows what we'll do. But let's go ahead and jump into the game. The Jacksonville Jaguars went to the AFC Championship last year. And they haven't lived up to expectations at all. They had one big win against the Patriots. Other than that, their season has been pretty forgettable. They have the number one passing defense. They still have Jalen Ramsey. Really good secondary. Really, It's not going to be easy to throw the ball on them. But the way you can beat this team is by running the football. Which we haven't showed signs that we can do. We haven't. We don't have that running back. That explosive playmaker in the backfield. We have a bunch of guys that can basically... Run forward for like three yards, and that's it. We have no running game. So this is this is pretty much on Carson Wentz this week. Last week, it was painful to see Carson Wentz on those last two plays. I'm not blaming him for the loss. He should have never been in that position. But on those two, those last two plays... He looked like a rookie quarterback. And that's just... That's just not good, man. That's not good enough for the... We expect him to be great. We expect him to be an elite franchise quarterback. And we, I still believe that he is that. But that was his moment. I think he can bounce back from it. And this week, we're going to need him to bounce back from it. Because this team has no running game. They have no running backs. Should have re-signed Gallagher Blunt instead of Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles hasn't played since opening night. You got Wendell Smallwood and Corey Clement and Josh Adams. That's not cutting it. It's not cutting it. So Wentz, Alshon Jeffrey, Zach Ertz, Nelson Aguilar, 
Jordan Matthews, Sheldon Gibson, Dallas Goddard. Everyone is going to have to put their heads together on offense and go out there and get it done. It gets a really tough secondary. Secondary that's only giving up about 179 yards passing a game. And defensively, Malcolm Jenkins came out this week. He says, I can turn on tape of our opponent that we're playing this week. And that's proof that Colin Kaepernick should have a job. Okay. I'm not going to say anything other than this. That is bulletin board material for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's probably posted in their locker room right now. Blake Bortles is starting, even though he got benched for Cody Kessler last week. And if we lose to either one of those quarterbacks, this defense should be absolutely ashamed. They should be ashamed that they gave up 200 yards to Cam Newton. But I'm going to try to bury that in the past. I think our defense has an advantage. This offense is give, This offense is one of the worst scoring offenses in the league. One of the worst yards-wise. Leonard Fournette's probably not going to play. You got Bortles. They got some okay receivers. They got Keenan Cole. Not sure who all else they have. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. There's absolutely no reason we should lose this game in London. Jaguars play a lot better in London than they do even at home. London, they might be the London Jaguars, for all we know. There's no reason we should lose this game. I think if we handle our business, play football the way we're supposed to play, don't be complacent like we've been twice this year. This team should absolutely be 5-2. and two. I just need to see something from this team. Even in the New York Giants game, I didn't really see something that's making me believe this team is back. This week, they have opportunity to do that. All I want is to see something that's going to make me say, yeah, we're back. It's time to take back the NFC East. Go on a playoff run. Our run has to begin now. We have to push all our chips in the middle of the table and get the job done. Give me something to believe in, birds. That being said, fly goes fly. Thanks for watching. I'm out.